This is 3514 Clays Mill Road in Lexington. <clears throat> You're in a tremendous location, real close to everything. Um, you share a drive here on the side with, uh, with Pres uh, Universalist Church. And they're widening Clay's Mill. They're putting it more on the other side. And you're getting all brand new sidewalks here. Here's the old sidewalk being taken up. And then it's going to have all new sidewalks, real pretty. You're like a quarter mile to uh, Bread and Milk and, and probably a half a mile to bigger malls. And then within one or one mile, mile and a half to the big malls. I mean, uh, Fayette Mall is not very far from here. You just check the map. It can't be more than a a mile and a half or so. Real good location, close to all the schools, churches, all that stuff that you want to be convenient to. And this is, let me see if I can zoom in. That road right down there is the intersection of, of Man of War and, uh, and Clay's Mill. So you know where you are. You're really close to everything. Come on in, let's go. go so, uh, in fact, let me, let, let me take you around back first. This is great. This big bow window's in the dining room. It's got this huge screen porch, really nice. I like to grill and entertain. So if anybody you know of me, uh, you know I like to grill and entertain, so that'd be my spot. Then everything is fenced in with the chain link fence in the back here. This driveway comes right around. And I'm gonna stick my neck out and assume that that shed is on the property. It is. And uh, this fence goes back there. Can you see it? And then to that corner right there by the pole. And then straight in. And then there's the church up in the back. And then you've got access to two-car garage here. And then that really big screen and porch addition, which I love. It's all brick. And let's go in the front. Here you go. Of course, you got full access to downstairs. You open the garage door opener, which it has. You just drive right in, you walk upstairs. This is what I call a split level. You walk in, and then it splits. You got a few, a few stairs down, a few stairs up, and uh, let's go on inside. Okay, so here's the split here, little foyer, and You've got five or six steps down, five or six steps up. This is a three bedroom, one full bath, two half baths. And I'll show you those here in just a little bit. I'll show you the kitchen later. It's one of my favorite spots. This is really nice, the, uh, the living room. So you're open to, to see guests. Good for entertaining. And then down the hallway to the bedrooms and baths down there. And this is uh, one of those like it's like uh, pattern glass, like a crackly type of glass, almost like a glass block uh, for privacy, but it lets plenty of light in. It's a really dreary day, so I apologize. And here's the kitchen. So you've got a little island here, and uh, double stainless sink, smooth top, uh, electric stove top, and wall oven. Blue this for sitting eating breakfast or having uh, having a cup of coffee. So this is that big bay window or bow window, and then this is the window that goes out to, to that uh, screened-in porch. Let's go out there right now while I'm thinking about it. Now I'm going to guess again, but I'm going to guess that these are two foot apart. One, three, four, five, six. So 12 by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 12 by 18, check the listing. That's going to give you a more accurate number, but just for conversation and uh, us just talking here amongst girls, about 12 by 18. Finished ceiling. It's got the, the uh, ceiling fan. Oh, fantastic. All screened in. And then you get to overlook all the property, too.
see who's coming in when you have parties. And, uh oh, Uncle Bill's here or whatever. That's kind of fun. All screened. Love it. Okay, now back in. I love these colors, the green, the red, and the black. Beautiful. If it's not your cup of tea, paint's cheap, right? I like it. It's really quite nice. All right, let's go on out this way. Go down the hallway. Nice closet here. We got a linen here. And then full bath. And full bath in here with this uh, huge vanity sink hopper another closet in here another linen in here wow that's cool and then here's a spare room in here it's got lots of stuff in it but just trust me it's a nice size beautiful bedroom with closets this is the master bedroom this is great Big double door closet here with shoe racks and that all that shelving and half bath here and half bath in here you got a sink toilet nice window to let in plenty of light I'll show you this other bedroom over here really nice really sweet and then the bedroom over here that I wasn't going to show you is a mirror of this. So again, a double, double door, closet, plenty of closet space. And then downstairs, one of my favorite places. Call it the man cave. Call it whatever you want. I think uh, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised when you see downstairs. Now, this seller is motivated to sell. She's ready to go. She's having a garage sale. So, excuse the stuff, but it just shows you that she is ready to uh, be moving on. And uh, so she's got her garage sale items here. So if you see anything you like, give me a call and uh, we'll, we'll get a hold of her. I'm only kidding. But anyway, so this is, uh, as you walk in the walkway here, these are little windows and brick, brick, big brick fireplace with gas logs so there's the there's the turn on for that and a nice hearth sit by the hearth i mean really nice family room have a little bar down here place for the kids to go you could actually have a granny flat down here there's plenty of room throw in a little hot pad and a microwave and this has got half bath and the lights right here half bath be perfect for a granny flat or a teenage, uh, you know, teenager. And then we have the garage, which is just a typical garage. I don't want to, uh, you know, make like this is a fancy, fancy garage, but it's a darn nice garage. I'll tell you what, and it's nicer than the garage I have, which is none. I wish I had a garage. Um, so everything's accessible. Is what I love about a basement. You, know, you got the water heater. It's not in a closet on the second floor or some silly thing. You've got full access to all your mechanicals. Electrician needs to put in an extra outlet for you. They can. You want to put in uh, put in a spigot outside. You can. You have a leaky pipe. You can fix it. It's not going to damage anything. It just goes on the concrete. That's what's so great about a basement. I think uh, two car garage, and it's got the operator. It's got the automatic garage door opener. Okay, so nothing fancy. It'll look a lot bigger when when the seller stuff is out, uh, and then it'll look a lot smaller if you brought half of the stuff I got in my garage in back in. But anyway, this is uh, 3514 Clay's Mill Road, and I know you'll like the area a lot. It's a great house. It's a good, solid house, good, solid neighborhood, close to everything. All you need to do is call Dan, bluegrassteam.com, and you can click on this property or you can click on our agents and call Dan Campbell directly. Dan's a great guy, He'll tell you all about it. Thanks so much for watching. Bluegrassteam.com, bluegrassteam.com.